I'm Ali and welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you another edition of I Can DIY That and today's special challenge is recreating Urban Outfitters decor with Dollar Tree products. And overall I think all three DIYs turned out perfectly and I just absolutely love them and I know I say that in every video but I really do mean it this time. So the first DIY I'm recreating is this magical thinking woven wall mirror that costs $24 off of the Urban Outfitters website. I decided to tackle this project because I feel like it's one of those staple decor pieces that Urban Outfitters always has and I've always wanted to try to recreate it myself and see what kind of version I can make with it. And I thought what better way to do it and jump into this project by using all Dollar Tree materials. So let me show you how I did it. The first thing I picked up from the Dollar Tree is this round mirror and what I did was remove the back because I just want the frame separate from the mirror at this time. Then I took some Dollar Tree clothespins and all you do is bend them so that you can disconnect them like this. And this little groove here at the bottom actually fits perfectly on the rounded edge of the mirror frame. So this works out so great. So all I did was put a little hot glue in that groove and then stuck it down onto the front of the frame. Once all the clothespins were on, I took some of this natural raffia from the Dollar Tree, of course, opened it up, and then I took two pieces and tied them in a knot together at one end, and then glued it to the back of the frame so that it would stay in place. And then what you see here is I'm taking the raffia and I'm making a crisscross over each individual pin. And then once that X is made, I wrap it once around between both pins that way it covers up some of the black on the frame it's easier probably to watch this than to actually have me explain it so after you run out of your length of raffia all you do is glue the little end onto the back and then you glue on the next piece and you just keep going around the frame once that was done, I took a good thick strand of the raffia, so maybe reserve those for the end when you're doing this, and I glued it toward the top of the clothespin, and then just wrapped it around each pin, kind of creating a little extra border around. Once that's all attached, glue the mirror back on, and you have your completed starburst mirror, and honestly, this has to be one of my favorite DIYs. I was so happy to see the final result and it just looks so great. So let me break down the price for you. I think it's pretty obvious if you watch the video. So the mirror of course cost $1 and the clothespins again are $1. And then for the raffia, it was also $1. And then just in addition, there's a little hot glue involved. So I spent a total of $3 on this project when the Urban Outfitters original costs $24. Project number two is this feelings jar which is being sold on Urban Outfitters and it is made by like an independent artist. While normally I wouldn't support remaking another artist's art, I thought this was a really simple thing that you could DIY yourself and plus it costs $20 on the Urban Outfitters website and I'm going to make it for less than 10 so cutting the price more than in half so let me show you how I did it. This is such a simple DIY. I started out with this very large mason jar that is in the glassware aisle at Dollar Tree and then some of these foam letter stickers from the craft aisle. So all I did was stick the foam letter stickers right onto the glass. I didn't use any glue. I found they actually stuck very, very well to the glass surface and spelt out the word feelings. And once I had one layer of letter stickers down, I actually went in with a second layer over top just to add a little extra dimension. 
Next, I took that all outside and I used some white spray paint and I gave it a good coat of white. After that had dried, I actually took a small brush with some white acrylic paint and went over each letter just to make sure it looked completely covered when I took it back outside and gave it a second coat of paint. And even though the font isn't the exact same on this DIY, I think the effect is overall pretty perfect. So let's tally up my totals for this DIY. Of course, it cost $1 for the jar and another dollar for the foam letter stickers. And then the spray paint, I'm estimating it around $5 because I already had the paint on hand. But if you decide to go out and buy it new, that means the total cost of this project is $7. Then that compares to the $20 original price on the Urban Outfitters. And finally, this last project doesn't use too many Dollar Tree supplies, but it is going to be completely affordable and does start with a Dollar Tree item as its base. It's this Big Dot Suede Wrap Journal now on the Urban Outfitters website. This journal costs a whopping $30, and I'm going to make it for a significantly less cost and overall I think the effect is really cute plus you get that added addition of being able to make it your own and customize it. I started with this small spiral notebook from Dollar Tree. I just picked this one because I liked the size and shape of it. Then I picked up a quarter of a yard of corduroy fabric and this small faux leather strip that you use kind of as a trim. So the first thing I did was cut down the material to size and then went and hot glued a hem on the top edges of the material. After I hemmed the top edges, I then folded over the two ends just to create a nice smooth seam all the way around. Then I took a line of glue, put that on the material, then folded it over to the inside front cover of the notebook. Then I flipped that all around, put more glue on the front cover of the notebook, and folded the material and pressed that down over the glue on top. After that, flip the notebook around and put glue on the back, and then place that onto the material, making sure you pull it so it's nice and tight. Then I folded the flap over and you have your basic form of this notebook. Now to make the three circles, I traced a drinking glass on the front with a pencil and then just went in with some white acrylic paint so that it would have that cute little circle look. As that paint was drying, I decided to use that time to glue together the faux leather strip. That way it turns into the strap that closes the notebook. Then all I did was glue the strap to the inside front cover of the notebook and a little bit on the front as well to hold it into place. And then you just need to wrap it all the way around and tie it in a little knot on the front. And your Urban Outfitters notebook dupe is complete. So there is the journal. Now, of course, if you do use a Dollar Tree notebook, there aren't that many pages in the journal, but I think it looks really cute and I only plan to use this notebook for special occasions anyway, just because mostly I like it as an Instagram styling prop, but you know. I don't know what that was. So anyways, let me just put the totals up on the screen. So the cost for the corduroy material was $1.22. The faux leather strap was $3.74. The acrylic paint I'm gonna count in here is $1. And the journal is $1. And then of course you need a little hot glue. So that brings your total to $7 to make this DIY. And the original cost if you were to purchase this from Urban Outfitters is $30. That concludes this episode of I Can DIY That. I am absolutely adoring how all these projects turned out, plus all three of them work really, really well together. There is such a clear vibe between all three, so really, really 
really happy with how this video turned out. Now this will be my last sort of normal kind of DIY videos on my channel for the next couple weeks because starting next Saturday, we are jumping into the Holla DIY season. So if you want to join in on the holiday fun, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And of course, if you love this series and you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to give this video a like. In the comments below, I would love to see if there's any other challenges you would like me to do for this I Can DIY That series, any sort of stores that you want me to recreate, or like a monetary limit, or a place that I go to buy the supplies, anything like that. I would love to hear your guys' suggestions. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!